Good morning and welcome back to the Oaks. We today are continuing spraying the weeds off this time in the wheat fields. Got two fields after this one to do. Right, we shall see how we go. Hopefully we can get this field done today pretty quickly. Uh, not going to be overly quickly at the speed that we travel with the sprayer, so... Yeah. <coughs> We shall just plod along. We have got a decent width, so See how far we've actually got to go a long way over to those trees in the distance. Uh, yeah, we will go as well as we can. Hopefully today and tomorrow we'll see the spraying done. should take effect okay. Let's swing our way into the next breed. Rows aren't too long here, so... See where we got done yesterday after we finished the previous field. Get this spraying done, then we've got fertilizer spreading to do and selling of our wheat. of weeds in the field really have grown strong and in other places it's just the old weed and small weeds so uh, definitely time to get the sprayer out <coughs> We'll soon be in some longer rows as well. Uh, yeah, we will see how we get on today. It is nearly nine o'clock in the morning. A 
Buffalo rounds will be in some longer rows. as well to finish off <coughs> Want some big bags of fertilizer in the spring once we get all the spring crops in we will go through every field spreading fertilizer this patch not got many weeds in at all which is good, just odd dribble of herbicide coming out now and again uh, this breed again, a lot of weeds don't get rid of the weeds it's going to drastically affect the yield did get a bit of a snow flurry overnight so got to crack on with this whilst there's no snow could well get some snow later today or overnight and not be able to do any spraying tomorrow if that occurs then we will get rid of a load or two of our wheat Still toying with the idea of some liquid fertiliser instead of throwing granular on the fields. We will see how we go on that score further down the line.
would free up a bit of money but if it's going to spread fertiliser the same speed as it spread, sprays the crops it may not be a viable option for us Well, getting towards the end of this field of winter wheat <coughs> do wish it would travel a little bit faster on when it's working but yeah, it's fine the width makes up for it do plan on getting a new seed drill which will give us a bit more spread between the tram lines another three meters which will speed the job up a little bit just a few short runs left here and we'll head over to the main farm and get the other two winter wheat fields sprayed off as well it's a bit of a cloudy day today but it is fine the winds low so should be fine to continue spraying the herbicide uh, another round after this one will finish us off well, there's not going to be a lot left after this next breed after this one so we'll see whether there's a round or a breed left maybe a breed and a little bit another round so soon be finished in here and we can run our way we've still got 72 percent of the herbicide left in here so we are fine to head straight over to the other two fields in this last little bit there almost done another field there we go that will do nicely turn off the sprayer fold it up Head our way over to the next field. Put the beacons on. Well, 
that is another field done, that's two of the four fields sorted nicely for us. Should have enough herbicide to at least do the next field, which is good. Can always get our souls over to the other farm and pick up the herbicide off. We might fill it up on the way just to, just to be on the safe side. We are going past the herbicide barrels. So might as well top it up. Here beside it, just inside that shed. Uh, whether we can reach it or whether we'll have to back out, I think we'll back it out. of that in or at least fill the sprayer up still got a little bit left shut that door so as we don't knock the door on the door of the shed and we will now head our way over and get started spraying the next field Go down to the furthest one away from us. This tractor also needs a wash, but that will get done when we get these fields finished. Taken much longer to get there now. It's main farm coming into sight. There's one of the wheat fields. just at the end of it beacons off, unfold the sprayer, fold the sprayer a little bit, we've got the 
Oh, bus sign there in the way. Not many breeds in this field, so should go pretty smoothly. But anyway, we will see you around about two o'clock, see where we're getting to with this. Well, we are. Gutting through this field pretty quickly. Uh, just this one breed left to do, then we can pop into the next field. Uh, put a few weeds there to spray off. done and then we can fold the booms up still a few weeds as we come towards the end Turn that off. Get it folded up. And we can run our way pretty quickly to the next field. Uh, we'll double segment this last piece of the field <sighs> still cloudy Cloud's not breaking, so it looks like it's going to be a cloudy day all day. Uh, once we get into the next field, that will be the last. So as soon as we get through that, sprayer and tractor can be washed down. And the sprayer can be put away. they're putting the beacons on just to run down to this next field not on the road long and it is a country lane so very rare you see any traffic Um, head our way around the headland of the final field
shouldn't be too long getting this done. Should have it all done so we can sell some wheat tomorrow. There's a lot of weeds, but they're not got very big, so hopefully these two fields of wheat yield a little better than the first one. Come spring, we have got a lot of barley to drill. We've got a big, nearly 90 acre field to get drilled. bad day wind is calm set, well, a couple of barrels of herbicide left. Might just drop them in the it is a pre-mix that we buy. Uh, might just drop them in the sprayer. It will bring it nicely in line with mixing it again once we make a fresh start on spraying again next year it will mix it nicely spray we use is easy mix herbicide which means it can be left and it will agitate and mix up nicely Redlands to do. ends of the field so now yeah, getting on nicely here we are it's gone well this herbicide spraying beside in this to finish the field I think should be good it is already 20 to 3 it will soon be getting dark it's December so got to crack on with this spraying as quickly as we can
our souls around and into the short rows first. Spin it away around into that. short work done and then we can go back to the breed to our right a little bit here to the left to do first see where the biggest infestation of weed is. Look at this to the right of it, a big massive patch. Uh, definitely needs spraying off. this will enable the wheat to breathe and get, as I say get this field done we'll free us up to sell some wheat tomorrow do need to get some money in to the farm to be able to get ourselves the telehandler which will free up the grey massy Ferguson to do carting work, leave this one on row crop work the doits will do sugar beet harvest, rolling and what other job was we going to give it, I can't remember now but anyway that will do the rolling and the sugar beet harvest may replace that with another tractor going forward we shall see in here then we can head back across to the right hand side and get that done a couple of days to get all this Spraying done not too bad, considering a couple of the fields were massive. I mean, this field's big, but 
it's nothing in comparison to the first two we did to go quickly coming to halfway through this <coughs> not spraying the field we're well over halfway through the spraying of the fields. We've done three fields already. Very uneven field. Looking across there to the left hand side of the tractor. can see how up and down it is. Let's get our soles. Back across to the other part. a good job this combination of ATS and John Deere sprayer different drill so we can match the tram lines better to where we need them <coughs> excuse me bit of a sneezy session
that is where we're going to leave you for today. We will join you tomorrow selling some of the wheat. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, today's vlog. I have, as ever, been John Siddons. First thing to thank is you for watching. Thank you to Summer Farm Estates for letting us put our vlogs on their YouTube channel. Please give us a like, give us a share, drop us a comment. Any comments you drop, Summer Farm Estates will pass them over to us. Until you join us again next time message from some of our sites if you are new to the channel and you'd like to see more of the work that goes on here please subscribe to the channel if you give the bell a ring it will tell you when our content is available until you join us again next time thank you very much for watching we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.